praise be to jesus christ hello dear children good day to all of you i believe that you are all doing fine and healthy in the name of the lord before we begin let's all stand up join our hands close our eyes and ask god's blessings abba father thank you for being with us during this class help us to understand and learn this lesson thoroughly enlighten our minds strengthen our spirit so that what we learn today will be useful in our daily life in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen now let us sit down and move on to the next part of the chapter do you remember what we have learned in the last class yes we have learned about prayers and sacrifices of israel do you remember who built the temple of jerusalem yes king solomon how many books are there in psalms we have 150 psalms today we learn about sacrifices sabbath and jubilee celebration of people of israel we also learn how the church celebrates sabbath we know that people of israel had a deep relationship with god they used to offer different kinds of sacrifices right from the olden days they used to offer grains cattle sheep as sacrifice to god they offered sacrifice to praise and worship god to express thanks for the blessings they received to do penance for the sins committed and to receive blessings from god why did they offer sacrifice they offered sacrifice to praise and worship god to express thanks for the blessings they received to do penance for the sins committed and to receive blessings from god what are sacrifices it is a form of worship that people offered to god who created everything the people of israel used to perform different kinds of sacrifices for different purposes there were offerings for peace for penance and for atonement of sins when god gave law to moses he also gave direction how to offer sacrifices the offerings fall into three divisions one animals of the flock or herd two certain birds and three grains or products made of grain the latter called meat offerings were also offered with olive oil and frankincense to be acceptable as sacrifices the animals had to meet specific criteria first they had to be one of those which god had declared to be clean and which could also be used as food second they had to be domesticated and third they had to be free from physical flaws The grains had to be either ground into flour which in turn could be used to make bread stuffs roasted or parched These criteria were necessary so that the offering might serve as a proper symbol not only for the savior but also for the offerer himself Although each individual prepared the sacrifice for himself or his family he was not allowed to actually approach the altar until expiation or payment was made he was considered sinful and therefore stood barred from access to those areas which were designated as holy because of this he stood in need of a mediator someone who could intervene and minister in his behalf sacrifices were offered for an individual or for the whole community sacrifices on altar was offered by priest in the old testament we read abraham offering his only son isaac as sacrifice to god it is not the number of sacrifices that counts with god but our attitude we need to give our best to the lord during the birthday celebration of our parents 
brothers or sisters. We look for the best gift we can give to them. Something they like or they want the most. Don't you? Similarly, we also should offer our best to the Lord. Our love, our time, our wealth, etc. Have you heard of the story of Abel and Kay? Abel offered the best of his flocks and God was pleased with Abel and he sent fire from heaven to accept his offering. Whereas Cain offered which was not good and not useful and God did not accept his offering. We should not give out of a surplus but out of the best we have. We have come across the word Sabbath in several places in the Old Testament. Do you know Sabbath is a Hebrew word? Sabbath means to take a break, to take a break from all sorts of labor and spend the day with the Lord. Do you remember how many days did God take to create the world? We read in the book of Genesis, God has taken six days to create the world. What did he do on seventh day? God took rest. Similarly, Israelites observed Sabbath on the seventh day of the week and spent time with the God. Do you know who directed the Israelites to observe Sabbath? Was it Abraham? Was it Moses? No, it was God who directed. When God gave law to Moses, he also directed how to observe Sabbath. We read this in the Bible. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath to the Lord your God. You shall not do any work. You, your son or your daughter, your male or female slave, your livestock or the alien resident in your towns. Exodus chapter 20 verses 8 to 10. To Israelites, Sabbath was a day of joy, rest and worship. Now we go on to Jubilee celebration. I can see some smiles on your faces. You might be remembering the Jubilee celebration you might have attended in the past. We celebrate the Jubilee year of our church, our school, Jubilee of our priest or sisters. Why do we celebrate Jubilee? We celebrate it to thank God for taking care of us all these years. Similarly, Israelites also celebrated Jubilee. After settling in Canaan, God commanded six years of sowing and reaping and observed the seventh year as Sabbath. You may be wondering now, what Israelites would eat if they observe one full year as Sabbath? Israelites had a great belief in God that God will not allow them to die of hunger. The year that follows the series of seven Sabbath, that is after seven Sabbath, seven into seven, 49, 49 plus one, fiftieth year is observed as Jubilee year. God also gave special instruction how to celebrate Jubilee. Jubilee reminds that the land belongs to God and brotherly relationship should exist among the people. We have learned about prayer, Sabbath, Jubilee celebration of people of Israel. But what about us? Where do we go for worship? 
Yes, we go to church. Church is a symbol of God's presence. Holy Mass and other sacred rites like baptism, marriages are celebrated here. What should be our attitude to the church? We need to keep our church holy because God dwells here. So, are we supposed to run around and talk in the church? No, we need to enter the church with deep devotion. First, make the sign of the cross and be attentive in the church. Sabbath is celebrated on Sunday, the first day of the week, because Jesus has risen from dead on this day. How should we observe Sabbath? We need to attend the Holy Mass and involved in the spiritual activities of the church. This is also a day to learn more about Jesus. We need to establish a deep relationship with Jesus. Sunday is to be observed as holy day and not holiday. It is H-O-L-Y-D-A-Y and not H-O-L-I-D-A-Y. So, dear children, let us conclude the class, but before that, let us try to make a quick note on what we have learned today. We have learned about sacrifices to God. What are sacrifices? It is a form of worship that people offer to God who created everything. Then we have learned about Sabbath. Sabbath is celebrated on the seventh day of the week by the people of Israel and on Sunday, the first day of week by us. We need to celebrate Sundays as Holy Day. Then we learned about Jubilee. Do you remember which year is celebrated as Jubilee? Yes, it is the 50th year. Now, let us discuss about the activity for this week. We love a lot of things about our church, don't we? And we might have thought about some things that could be better. What do you like the most about your church? Yes, Jacob liked Christmas. Rose likes carols. Annie wishes the garden in the church was bigger and had more flowers. As an activity, write a paragraph on what you like most about your parish church and how you could improve it. We will wind up today's session with a prayer. Join your hands, close your eyes. Almighty God, we give you thanks for all the blessings you have showered upon us. Bless each of us and let your hand of protection be upon each of us throughout the rest of the week. We thank you for letting us to learn your will. Help us to live according to your will. Amen. Thank you children. Hope you have enjoyed today's class. Praise be to Jesus Christ.